So the Africa Twin is getting a big engine. Tell you all about it inside. Revelator Elf. Hello, welcome to Revelator Elf. So the news coming out of Honda is that the very capable uh, Africa Twin adventure bike uh, is going to be getting a bigger engine uh, for 2020, let's say next year. Now, uh, so it's currently at uh, just under a thousand cc. Uh, for they're looking to boost that up to just under eleven hundred cc, ten eighty cc, uh, with a marginal uh, increase uh, in uh, performance as well, and also horsepower. Now, why are they doing this? Uh, so many commentators are looking at uh, the uh, Euro emission standards and what the manufacturers are going to be able to do to match those standards. So Africa, uh, so the Honda with the Africa Twin are looking to increase the uh, engine displacement and therefore they can still give the same performance, the same power to the customers, to the bike, but still meet the emission standards. The un unfortunate thing is, as we know, a big heavy bike uh, for adventure riding or serious adventure riding uh, is not always a, uh, a good thing. The heavier the bike, um, the less uh, the less likely it is to be stable in the rutted stuff, in the sandy stuff, in the whatever. Um, and it's going to be a lot heavier to manhandle about because you're going to have to manhandle these bikes. Just see all my other videos uh, in the, and you'll see the problems that we have uh, with big um, adventure bikes. So adding. A bigger engine, more weight seems counterintuitive, but actually they're probably looking at the overall market, the overall use of these adventure bikes, and obviously trying to comply with the um, the emission standards from the, the Eurozone. So this is what you've got to look for. I'm still thinking that uh, the the bike itself is still going to be a great bike, um, but we're going to have a bigger engine in it. Now, of course, uh, Honda are not the uh, first uh, manufacturer to kind of have this uh, mentality. Uh, BMW have now done it with the F850GS. Uh, uh, basically, they've increased the engine size. They looked at uh, electronic suspension, that kind of thing. So they're they're giving the great a, a better package, uh, but yes, with a bigger engine, but they're still able to comply with the uh, the Euro standards. Um, so you know this is um, nothing new in terms of the approach. But actually, you can see, and you would imagine more and more manufacturers will be looking uh, at this tactic to manipulate certain components uh, on the motorcycle to comply uh, with certain new regulations, but also still deliver uh, the same package or, or performance package or actually an improved uh, package. Anyway, so that is the news from uh, Honda. They've, uh, they're gonna give us a, a bigger engine, uh, more bang for our buck, slightly uh, but it is going to be a heavy ride but for most uh, riders that won't make uh, one bit of difference at all right only for those getting into the serious stuff but then again it's probably a, a more of a movement now to come off like say the um, the BMW uh, R1200s the you know the Triumph Explorers and come down in the range to the 850 the BMW or the, um, the 800 uh, Triumph uh, Tiger and possibly even uh, lower than that or even smaller than that but you know that's uh, how the market is moving well anyway hope you enjoyed this video i hope you found it useful please subscribe hit the notifications bell and i'll catch you on the next video whenever it is oh yes leave loads of comments as well cheers